Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hoff Bergman Explained video for Farming Simulator 22. Today we're going to talk about wine. But before that, this video is brought to you by Chad Bergman and Mike Jolkier. Thank you for being farm barons. So making wine here on Hoff Bergman for Farming Simulator 22 is a multi-step process. And the first step in this process, well, it's going to be buying the winery. You can find the winery here on the PDA in the upper left corner of the map as compared to where the main farm is, which is down here in the lower right. You will need to buy this land, which is $1,043,000 to buy. This includes everything you need to do in order to make wine as well as quite an extensive vineyard over here up on the hillside. Now, of course... Taking care of the grapevines is going to be standard Farm Sim 22 affair. Harvesting the grapes is going to be standard Farm Sim 22 affair. So we are not going to mess with that. If you need any information about how to harvest grapes, well, you can check my how-to video on grapes and olives. I'll put a little tick in the upper right corner. But we are here to talk about how we make wine. And it starts with the first process, which is going to be cleaning the grapes. So I have already staged up here some equipment as well as a load of grapes. We're going to find that here in this shed. And this particular grape trailer is a modded trailer that is a part of the mod pack. I want to show you where I got that from. So if we come in here into shop, we go to Hoff Bergman. We're going to go to mini agricultural equipment. We're going to scroll over and we're going to get the MRWK 6000. It's going to hold 6,000 liters of grapes. Then we have hominates, and then we have some grape residue. We'll talk about those here in a few moments. So the first start, first step, I should say, in making wine is going to be to clean our grapes. So we're going to bring our grapes out of the vineyard. Or we could bring our baskets of grapes from the community garden. So we've already done a explained video on the community garden. And we know that we can make grapes over there by simply providing them with some water. We can bring the baskets of grapes over here and dump them in and have them cleaned as well. So we're going to back this in here. Notice we are starting out with 6,000 liters of grapes. Now, this particular facility will hold 10,000 liters of grapes at a time. We're going to come in here to grape processing step one, which is going to be cleaning and preparation. We're going to activate that. You see that we are going to get clean grapes out as well as bio waste. Also notice the grapes are set to distributing automatically. I did not change this. They are automatically set up to be distributing. And that is because, well, if we take a look here, right, we, we dumped our grapes in here. Got some nice animation of the grapes going up the conveyor belt into the cleaner. And they are going to be destemmed and dirt and all of that fun residue is going to be cleaned off of them. And then they are going to be transported, probably with a fair bit of water, through this hose into the next side of the building. And this is where step two is going to be located. Step two is located right here. Now we'll talk about step two here in a moment. But I want to go ahead and fast forward time until we have completely processed all 6,000 liters of our grapes. So we can see at this point, all of our grapes have been processed. We have 3,409 liters of clean grapes still in step one. And we have moved 2,579 liters of clean grapes over to step two. Of course, at the top of the hour, we should then have the rest of our grapes moved over. And now if we come over here to step two of the process... 
we have 5,989 liters of cleaned grapes. Let's go ahead and activate step two. And step two is going to ferment the grapes. So the grapes are gonna go through these four bins and then it's gonna be transported into step three, which is gonna be grape processing. So once again, let's go ahead and fast forward time as we move our grapes through the process of cleaning and then fermenting them. So at this point, it is eight o'clock at night. That took a few hours and we now have all of our grapes fermented and we are ready to start step three of the process. Step three of the process is going to be press and stabilize. This is where we are gonna take our fermented grapes and convert them to grape juice and pomenance, which is basically the press residue. So we're talking about the pulp, the skin, and whatever else might be left after we press them. Now do notice we have 5,990 liters of fermented grapes at this point. Let's go ahead and activate step three. And now step three is running. We're going to have our grape juice come through this hose over into these containers. And then when we are ready to pull the grape juice out, we have one of two options. We can come over here and we can activate our pump with the left mouse button. And you can see once the pump is activated, we have an unload trigger or a loading trigger. Or we could set this to distribute which would then send our product over to phase four. And phase four is going to be the resting phase, AKA taking it from grape juice into grape wine. So I wanna go ahead and fast forward time once again. That way we can convert all of our fermented grapes into grape juice. Now that we have processed all of our fermented grapes into grape juice and pomenant, we're gonna work on extracting our grape juice from our machine. And for that, we're gonna go ahead and use another trailer that is part of the mod pack that is included with the map. As I said, we could set this to distribute and it would just magically transport the grape juice over to the resting and fermenting area. We have to open our lid. Back this on up in here. Let me make sure my pump is on. Now that my pump is on, I can fill my grape juice. And once our grape juice is filled up, we're gonna bring it over here to these casks where we are then going to store it and it's going to ferment into wine. deactivate step three and we will activate step four of the process which again is going to be grape juice in and red wine out now if you look at our prices screen we do have grape juice listed but there's no place to sell grape juice so ultimately the final product for anything is going to either be packaged grape juice or packaged red wine. And we're gonna talk about patch packaging this liquid here in a little bit. So 
now we have 5,166 liters of grape juice. Remember, we started with 6,000 liters of grapes. So we have lost a little bit along the way, but that is because of the stemming and the cleaning process in phase one, and then the pressing process in phase three. back this on up and unload our grape juice into our casks and as you can see at this point we have already started producing red wine now since it's 8 41 in the evening i'm just going to go ahead and fast forward time into tomorrow then we'll come back and pull out our red wine and take that down to the bottling plant. We have a new day and we have now processed all of our red wine. We have 5,416 liters of red wine that we're now going to pull out. And we are going to take that down to the bottling facility. And the bottling facility is located right here called the contract filler. And if we come down here to our production chains, we're going to find the contract filler is one that we already own. And we're going to bring red wine or bulk grape juice down to the product filler. And then they are going to package it into wine bottles. And if we take the grape juice straight from phase three, down here, they will make bottled grape juice. So the reason I wanted to do each step along the way is I wanted to demonstrate how, when we start with a known quantity of 6,000, at various steps, we do lose a little bit of product. We haven't lost a whole lot of product, but we have lost a little bit of product. And if we take a look once again back here, phase one, we have 315 liters of bio waste. And then phase three, we have 1,291 liters of pomadance or press residue. So that's gonna be our skins, the pulp part of the grape that didn't get pressed into a liquid. We're gonna cover what to do with those products in another video related to compost. Let's go ahead and take this down to the bottling facility. I'm gonna pull up the main map down here so you can kind of follow along on the process. It is kind of right around the corner from the village shop, which is gonna be our ultimate final destination with respect to selling our red wine or bottled wine or if we simply process the grape juice the final destination with respect to a bottled grape juice so while we're running down here let me know what you think of this process down in the comments below we've seen some multi-staged winery mods in the past i did one where we were on uh no man's land and we did a farm build series and we built out a little bit of a vineyard and we had fun using that multi-stepped processed mod to make wine from grapes there i kind of like the process it's interesting uh it's not too terribly hands-on with respect to the hoff bergman map here because you can set step three to be automatically distributed to step four and then in theory you could set step four to be automatically distributed to the contract filler so really all you need to be involved in is if you want to do it on quote easy mode is you could dump grapes in step one and then you could come down here to the contract filler and remove the bottled pallets at the end of the line and have everything else set to auto distribute if you wanted to So here we are, we have a turn off to the left. 
that we are going to take right before the gate. And this is going to be our contract filler. So we're going to come over here and unload our red wine. We're going to go to our contract filler here, and we are going to activate our wine packaging, if you will. And now we are going to, once again, fast forward time and wait for our palette of bottled wine to appear. Happy September morning, raining as always. So I had misspoken. We don't get pallets of wine, we get crates of wine. And each crate has about 48 liters worth of wine in it. You see we have a nice simple wooden flatbed trailer here. This is also part of the Huff Bourbon mod pack. We're gonna find that particular trailer here under the LSFM Universal trailer. We can get it in a flatbed variety or a forestry version, or we can put a fuel tank on it or a barrel tank for other liquids. But at any rate, we have this loaded up with, well, several crates of wine and we have 1,488 liters of wine. That is it. Now, if we go to our production chains, come down here to our bottling crates, you can see that we have processed all of our red wine. We now have 3,946 liters of red wine that is packaged, and I have set it to selling, which quite frankly is probably what lots of players are gonna do, given the, uh, the monotony of doing any sort of selling of wine at scale. Now, I have also spawned in here a pallet of packaged grape juice. So you can see what that looks like here on Hof Bergman. 576 liters of packaged grape juice and both of these are sellable down at the village shop. So we're going to go down here and sell our grape juice. We're going to sell our red wine off the trailer and then we're going to fast forward and auto sell our wine that is down here at the bottling facility and see how much money we come away with doing any sort of grape production at scale I really see you're going to be setting your your red wine your bottled, bottled red wine to auto sell just based on how long it's going to take for you to move all of those cases or, or crates, if you will, of wine. So there you go. $3,222 for our grapes. And $11,845 for our bottled red wine. That was just 1,400 liters. We have nearly 4,000 liters left at the processing facility. Let's go ahead and sell all of that and see what our grand total is. So now our grand total here is $40,374 with respect to 6,000 liters of grapes. That's what we started with. Just 6,000 liters of grapes. A couple days time, a couple months time, and we have converted 6,000 liters of grapes into $40,000 worth of profit. So guys, let me know once again down below, what do you all think of the wine processing function here on the Hof Bergman map? Now we are on version 1.0.0.1 .1 as of the recording of this video. And until next time, happy farming.